Hello, I'm Dr. John McDougall. You know, I started out in Hawaii practicing medicine and I was taking care of uh, Japanese, Chinese, and Filipino people, first, second, third, and fourth generation. And I'd have uh, my third and fourth generation people come in who are overweight, type 2 diabetes, heart disease, all kinds of intestinal problems, and I'd try and teach them a healthy diet. And it was hard for them to understand what I wanted them to eat. And then I started talking about their ancestors. I would ask, for example, one of my Japanese patients, well, are grandma and grandpa still alive? And they say, yeah, they're still alive. And how are they doing? Well, fine, grandma and grandpa are in their 90s and they're trim and they're hardworking. I'd say, well, what do they eat? Well, they live on rice and vegetables. And I'd say, well, that's what I want you to eat. And they say, well, but they live on white rice. And I'd say, well, you know what? Brown's better. But I guess white can't be all that bad. After all, you have the example of your recent ancestors, and they're doing quite well on white rice. Yeah, brown rice is better, but, you know, I want to pick my battlefronts carefully. And to try and make these folks switch to brown rice is next to impossible. It's a cultural thing. You know, it goes way, way back, centuries back, to the fact that, you know, less well-to-do people, they ate brown rice. You know, the refined, the cultured. You know, the elite people, they ate white rice. And because of that prejudice, it's very difficult to get people to switch from white rice to brown rice. And so I kind of gave up on that for a lot of these folks, and so do I with you. I mean, white rice is not a deal breaker. You can consume that and still be trim and healthy. Brown is better, but, you know, meat's terrible, and dairy is terrible, and eating oil will make you fat. And so let's go with the white rice and the white pasta, and maybe some white bread, and get lots of good vegetables in there, keep the oil out, keep the animal foods out, and I bet you're going to do just great. I'm Dr. John McDougall.